Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I've been sat here for 3 minutes and 17 seconds trying to start this video, so I'm just going to start. Hello. <sighs> Hi everyone, Hi, welcome back to another video. Welcome to another video. Oh, I'm just so awkward. <laughs> Starting videos is so hard. And I'm all, look, I'm all red and flustered now. <laughs> So I took all of Easter off YouTube, so I haven't uploaded a video for about two or three weeks and it seems like, it feels like years. But today I'm going to do a video, I was going to do a match betting profit update for March. Um, but I thought instead I'll just pile it all together and have a look at how much I made online with everything. As it seems like a lot of people liked my last video where I did that, it was a few months ago now. I think I did a profit update for like the first two weeks of a month, so this time I'm going to do the whole month of March. So please don't expect um, amazing numbers or sales or anything, because you're not going to get that on this channel. I've put timestamps down below of all the different bits, because I know some people that subscribed are only interested in the match betting stuff, some people are only interested in the eBay stuff. Um, so feel free to skip ahead. Uh, so we'll start with eBay. I keep looking down because I have a lot of notes here. So eBay, I ran a load of £2 auctions on like a, a load of older stuff. Stuff that have been listed for like a year or stuff that's, you know, left over from bundles where I've kind of got everything I'm going to get out of that bundle and what's left over. It's stuff that I was just going to get rid of but I thought instead I'll just stick it all on at £2 auctions and just see what happens. And yeah, I managed to clear out a load of older stuff, so that was really cool. And I also focused a lot on getting my storage space all sorted and organised because it just was a mess. I got it when I moved here, I think in like December or January, I don't know. But because the kids have been off, I've had no time to spend there. So I've just been listing everything at home, putting it in a box and then just shoving it in the storage unit so it looked like this. I'll put a picture here of the mess that it was. So every time something sold, I was having to like root through a million boxes to try and find it and it was just a nightmare. And there's so many days that I wasted hours looking for like one item that cost, you know, that I sold for like a tenner. So it just, it just wasn't worth it. it was a lot of wasted time. So I spent a lot of time organizing that. Um, I got these new shelves ages ago and I just haven't put them up. So I finally got them up and they're all looking good and everything's just so much easier when stuff's organized. So numbers wise, I had uh, on eBay, I sold 82 items in March for the total of amount of £1,112.32. And then the actual profit when you minus the fees and postage is £731. Now it's funny because you'll see that eBay isn't like my highest earning thing that I do online, but it's taking me the most amount of time at the minute. So I'm going to try and shift a little bit away from clothes away from used clothes maybe um, and try and get some like new things in there that I can do multiple quantity listings on just to kind of speed it up a bit because it's it takes a lot of time but still £731 in profit it's still like a wage to me that's really good that pays for the rent and the council tax the thing that I really like about eBay is that it is a job <laughs> you know so the more hours you put into it the more money you make but I like that you can control it, you can scale it back if you need to, or you can build it up if you want to. It's just the amount of hours you put into it. It does take time. It's not easy. <laughs> right, Etsy. Um, I haven't posted a lot on Etsy. I've probably listed about five new items or something. Not a lot at all. Uh, and I sold two items on Etsy in March for a total profit of £45.80, which is really good for two items. So I'm testing out starting my own uh, vintage clothing website to sell from. I haven't built it up so I haven't marketed it yet or officially like opened it. I'm just kind of trying to build it up but it's a slow process. So it is taking time to build. I think I only did it like last month or something. So I can't complain. Uh, but I have got a Instagram page for that as well. It's emilyvintage.com. But I will link that down below if you want to have a look. But I'm just putting some of the dresses and stuff, more of the nicer things on there and trying to sell them either through the website direct, directly or through Instagram, which I have sold three items through there, which is really cool. And that was a profit of £65 for them. So altogether, the profit from eBay, Etsy and Emily Vintage is £841.80 which is cracking, I think. All right, next, and this is my favorite, favorite thing. 
and it's the most exciting thing for me, I think, because this isn't really, it's not as much as like a job, I don't know what this was, but is <laughs> uh, is blah blah is Google AdSense and affiliate income, which is my favourite type of income because you like do all the work up front and then you kind of step back and it goes. Phew. Well, sometimes it goes. <laughs> you don't know which way it's going to go. That's what's it's, it's that's what's exciting about it. I now have ads on my website as well, singlemomsuccessclub.com, which I'll link down below as well. Um, I have ads on there and YouTube ads and they came to £330 in March, which is really cool. I think that's maybe the highest or the second highest it's been. I know in April, it's going to go way down because I haven't done, when I don't do a video for like a week or two, it just drops. So I have three main affiliate programs that I'm signed up with, which I use in the description and in my website, in the blogs and stuff like that. And for the month of March, they came to £2,075 and one pence, which is mind blowing. Oh, hang on, though there's also Amazon as well. I forget about this one because I don't make a lot of money with Amazon affiliates at all, but in March I did get £40. So that's cool. But I don't get payouts from Amazon every month. It's usually every two months. Because I think you have to earn like 30 or 40 pounds before they pay it out. But yeah, over two grand in affiliate income, which is... So all together for actual like work income, which is like things that I'm selling and videos and stuff like that and websites and stuff like that. That comes to a profit of £2,956.80. That sounds really good, but you have to take away my expenses. So stuff like um, subscriptions that I use, storage fees my for my storage unit, and stock, stuff that I've bought to sell. And so for the month of March, all my expenses came to £683.94. So that makes, so that leaves a total actual profit of £2,272.86 for March, which I am over the moon about. So pleased with. Next is the side hustles. Now, some people hate that word. I like it because it's kind of what it is, isn't it? But okay, my main side hustle is of course match betting, which went a lot better than February, I think was my last match betting at profit update. And I think I made like 70 pounds or 80 pounds in the whole of the month, which was pretty poor. Let's be honest, pretty poor. Um, in March, I did a lot better. I made 350 pounds and 66 pence, which is awesome. But I do have to take off the, I'm paying 17.99 a month for the subscription. I had a year's subscription and then it ran out and now I'm just paying monthly. But I'm gonna just make do another year again because I think if you do the year, it works out as £15 a month. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on the numbers. Because I know they have they have the new one as well, where it's bonus accumulator and profit accumulator into one. I think it's not the platinum, it's like the diamond level or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's the highest one. So if I can make at least between, you know, two to £300 a month would be perfect. Uh, that's going to be worth it for the year-long subscription. So I'll probably do that, but this month I paid 17 99 So right, one thing I wanted to say about match betting is I've noticed... <laughs> I'll be careful how I say this. I don't, I don't want to anger anybody. I don't want to anger anybody, but here we go. This bit of hair is annoying me. So obviously I, I'm an affiliate for Profit Accumulator. So obviously I have no issue with people being affiliates for whatever they use. It's the best way to make money, in my opinion. I think it's brilliant. Um, what I don't like, though... <laughs> uh, well, I'll just tell you what happened. I got an email from Odds Monkey. I don't know if you've heard of them. You probably have, if you're into much brain. They are a subscription service, just like Profit Accumulator. I would argue they are the same. They're not the same company, but they're very similar, all right? The prices are similar. The service is similar. You're going to get the same thing, right? They're both match betting subscription services. So they both have the calculators and they both have all the things. So, you know, you just pick one and go, with... they're the same, all right? They're the same. But I've seen like this increase in videos and stuff, people saying, 
Perfect Accumulator is rubbish, I only need to go with Odds Monkey because Perfect Accumulator is too expensive when actually they work out the same. But that's not what this is about. I got an email from the Odds Monkey people, like an actual email um, from my website. They must have clicked in the description to get there and then sent me a message through there, which is fine. Um, and it was saying about how much they liked my content and things like that and would I be interested in being an affiliate for them, which I don't mind them asking, like that's, I don't care. Then it went on to explain to me what match betting is and like how much I might make. And I'm like, hang on, you just told me you liked my content, but I'm now explaining to me what match betting is in case I didn't know. So it's like, so you didn't look at my content if you'd have looked at it, then you'd know that I already talked about match betting. So it kind of annoyed me because it was... Obviously, they're just sending it out to loads of people, which is fine because it's marketing, I understand. But then these... Because I've seen them. A lot of people are getting this email and like, oh yeah, let's do this. And like, trying to trash Profit Accumulator. <laughs> it's like a war going on. It's not really, but... um, Without having had it. Like, if you don't know what match betting is, don't be telling other people to do it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I hope that comes across the way I want it to come across. I don't mind anyone emailing me or anything. I don't mind. I think affiliate income is the best income. But just like, I don't like the idea that they are telling people to be an affiliate when they haven't even used the service, you know? And I didn't like that they were like, oh, we love your content, but obviously hadn't looked at any. Um, and the only reason I didn't, I went with Profit Accumulator and not Odds Monkey. This is the God's honest truth now. The reason why is because I don't like monkeys and that's called Odds Monkey. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but why did they call it Odds Monkey? Like what's a monkey got to do with it? And Profit Accumulator just sounded cool to me. It was like, yeah, I want to accumulate the profit. I'll tell you why I don't like monkeys, all right? I used to like them and then I watched a YouTube video, which I will link below if you want to be scarred for life, about a chimpanzee named Travis. If you know, if you've heard of it, then you'll you'll know the horror of the story, and it's just terrifying, um, and it's really scarred me. <laughs> so anything to do with monkeys, I'm like, nope. <laughs> so sorry, odd monkey. Anyway, after that long, after that long explanation, basically, if you use Profit Accumulator or use Odds Monkey, they are the same. But if you want a free trial of Profit Accumulator, the links in the description below. Uh, the free trial is still going, and you can. I think you can make up to £40. So you could just do the free trial, make up to £40 and then take your £40 and go, oh, another thing I wanted to mention on the match betting front. I found two threads on the forum that I think people would really like. Um, I've talked about the make a £1,000 a month um, thread, but they've, I think they've had it for ages, but I've only just found it, is the make £300 a month part time. So they post the offers every day between, between 11 and 12, but they're all offers that you can do around like a nine to five job or around your children so they're ones that you can do in the evenings and weekends and make 300 pounds part time which i thought is really cool and would be really helpful for people who don't have the time to do things like that during the day i thought that was a really cool thing and the other thread that really inspired like that really encouraged me in march what i bought with my profit with my pa profits and it's just like a motivational thread and it's just everyone posting pictures of what they've bought with their money and it's so cool because you see people posting um some, i saw a picture of someone's new car and you know really big things like that that people have bought but then also like little things oh here it is i've got it here um a tabletop dishwasher someone had just bought a peloton bike uh pictures of the cars computers iphones houses and a puppy and it's just so cool to see that people buying these things um, from the money that they're making through match betting. I'm pretty, pretty boring with my match betting profits and I'm using it to pay off debt. I haven't spoken about debt yet here, I don't think. Um, but yeah, when I started my YouTube channel, I was in a whole heap, like a real bad whole heap of debt. Because before that, uh, I think I spoke about how broke I was. Um, I'd lived off credit cards for probably about two years uh, and then that ended <laughs> and uh, yeah I was in I owed 12,600 and something 
pounds and it got to the point where I defaulted so bad it you know went to court and everything like that but they ruled that I was so broke that I just couldn't even pay it back because every month I was just in the red um, so I've gone from that point to now using my match bet in profit so I've more than halved my debt in the last what year and a half it's under two years anyway which is incredible because because when I had that and I was told like you owe all this money to me twelve thousand pounds was like I'm never gonna be able to pay this off because every month I was in the red so it's like I don't even have spare like ten pound so how am I gonna pay twelve thousand pound <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm doing with my match betting profits and I am gonna do like a video about debt if anyone is interested in that. But I wanted to do it when I finished paying it off. I don't want to do it now because I'm still in the middle. Well, I'm more than halfway done. But um, I want to do that when when it's right down, when I've actually succeeded. So that's what I'm doing with my match betting profits going forwards. And hopefully, if I crack down, I'll be able to get this paid off by, I reckon, in less than a year. I could push it and say nine months. But I'm not going to stress, I'm not stressing myself about it. But yeah, if you're interested in that, let me know. Okay, the next thing that I made money on in March was Top Cashback. If you haven't heard of it, get signed up. Top Cashback is the best. Uh, I'll show you my dashboard thingy and you can see that I wasn't using it before February. I used it ages ago and then it's one of them where you forget to use it. But you can see in March that I made £43.40. pence. Uh, the main thing I used it on was signing up for Sage Accounting Software. If you signed up for the free trial, you got £17 back in cashback, which is pretty epic. Um, and I was just going to cancel the free trial, but I actually really like Sage Accounting, so I'm going to use it. If you do any shopping online, just do it through Top Cashback, you get a percentage back. It's free money. Um, the next thing is Swag Books. I'm going to show the screenshots of my cash out, whatever you call it things because I know a lot of people think swag books is like scammy but it's not I made 20 pounds in March and that's really um what's the word passive that was really passively I didn't go in and do any um what do you call them surveys I didn't do any things like that all I do is and um, I use it for the search engine and I also use it sometimes you get a better percentage back than top cashback so I'll use it like top cashback as well um, but yeah, in March I got £20 from there. And Prolific is my all-time favourite survey-like site. It's not surveys, it's um, you're actually taking part in university psychology experiments and questionnaires, which is really awesome. And especially if you're interested in things like that as well, you get to like, get involved and you never get the surveys that time out. And they're paid really well. I think um, the surveys are, I'm pretty sure they're minimum wage you know, like per hour. So if something takes 10 minutes, it's it actually works out as the same as minimum wage, I think, but it, it's a really good amount anyway. But I really didn't do a lot in March. I'm trying to do a lot more in April. But in March, I made 12 pounds and 35 pence from pro Prolific. So altogether, my side hustle profit came to 426 pounds and 41 pence, which means altogether my actual work income and my side hustles i can't say that with a straight face i don't know why i just feel like such an idiot saying it side hustle um came to a total of 2699 pounds and 27 pence which blows my mind because i don't feel like i do a lot of hard work <laughs> like when i was working before i had my son i was work i was working for the nhs at one point in the hospital and that was 25 hours and I was making about £700 a month. And I couldn't work any more hours than that because that was school hours, nine till three, Monday to Friday. I didn't have, I don't have any other childcare, so that was what I could do. And I, it was about £750 I was making. Um, and that was hard work. And, and so on top of that, I was doing stuff like cleaning the school where my daughter used to go. I used to clean the school in the evenings. I used to clean people's houses. What else did I do? I cleaned banks. I did all kinds of like little little jobs like that, like hard work jobs. And then I used to work at Premier Inn, which was the hardest physical job I've ever done. It's crazy. And yeah, I made nowhere near, nowhere near this amount of money. It's crazy, like what you can do on the internet. And it's exciting because it doesn't feel like that's the ceiling. You know, it feels like things are just starting to come together. 
so it's really exciting um, I think it does go up and down all the time though it's not just like a steady growth or anything like that you know eBay will be double what it is this month and uh, affiliates and ads will be way down so it swips and swaps about but that's the good thing about having multiple things going on is when one drops off it's not panic stations because you can just work a bit harder on the other one. But yeah, I hope this was helpful and I hope it was interesting. I know you're much better in people. Please let me know in the description how you went on in March. Because the comments really... I, I love reading the comments about how much you're making every month. It's so cool. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.